Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, we are continuing our tip series today and talking about self-rising flour. Um, now, self-rising flour is not something that I grew up using. It's actually something that is somewhat new to me um, through my job as a food blogger. Um, I've never actually used it until I started making biscuits and so a lot of the recipes that I find online call for self-rising flour. Um, I think it's kind of something that um, is used a lot of times when making biscuits. So it's one of those things that um, I just, we always used Bisquick growing up. And so making my own homemade biscuits, um, I didn't know that self-rising flour existed even. So this is how you make self-rising flour. If you only have all purpose and a recipe um, calls for self-rising, you can make your own using this method. So what is self-rising flour? Um, self-rising flour is um, has all-purpose flour mixed with baking powder and salt. So it's kind of like um, an all-purpose or semi-homemade mix already. And so that's what we're gonna make today. So for every cup of self-rising flour, you all we need is a cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna measure out my flour. Remember, um, when we are measuring our flour, we want to scoop it, uh, spoon it into the cup and then level it off. So I have it here and then I'm gonna use my flat edge to level it off, like so. Add that to my bowl. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Um, you know, make sure that it's fresh. Um, baking powder has a use by date on it. Um, so if you haven't used it in a while, if you're not like a huge baker and you're not baking all of the time, so I would definitely check the date because um, that will affect the outcome of your recipe. Um, so this is one teaspoon and then I'm adding an additional half of a teaspoon. And then I need a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just using table salt. Whisk that together. Like so. And self-rising flour. That's it. Use this um, for one cup of self-rising flour in your recipe and you will have easy biscuits. You can use this wherever it calls for one cup of self-rising flour. Um, I will link to my post all about self-rising flour below. Um, I also have a storage option in there. So if you want to make bulk, you want to make a whole bunch of it all at once, um, you can do that and store it. And so you can click the link for that. Um, I hope that this is helpful and keep watching for even more tips.